Hello everyone, my name is Cameron, welcome back to the channel, and I just finished watching the brand new Mortal Kombat movie, and oh my fucking god. Also, new hat, new hat alert, I got a MLB The Show, I pre-ordered pre MLB The Show 21 for Jesse. I also have a cool Cleaver shirt on from Cleaver Clothing, which I'm just repping because this shirt is fucking comfortable as hell. Holy shit. Shit was Mortal Kombat amazing. So, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge Mortal Kombat fan. I've been a huge Mortal Kombat fan for a very, very long time. Um, I've played pretty much all of the video games, uh, at least all the newer recent ones, like Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance was like the first game I got really, really heavily into for Mortal Kombat. Um, I really enjoyed the hell out of Mortal Kombat 9 and Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. I didn't actually play a lot of the, the 3D ones. I didn't really enjoy them. I liked the more arcade style 2D um, style games. And when Mortal Kombat 10 came out, I bought it. Uh, not to, I bought it a while after it came out because I, I lost the, the love for the games, I guess, after Mortal Kombat 9, after grinding through it. Um, and then Mortal Kombat 11, I pre-ordered. And as you guys know, I streamed the entire story on the channel, which was really fun. I really heavily enjoyed playing Mortal Kombat 11. I still do. I still do enjoy playing it. I've platinumed the game. It's fantastic. I love it. And I've obviously watched a lot of the media. Um, I've watched actually every movie up to this point that's come out for Mortal Kombat, as well as Mortal Kombat Legacies, I think is what it's called, the, the TV series style one. I've watched the first season of that. Uh, I actually have one of the DVDs upstairs. Um, which is okay. It's not great. I'm actually going to move some of the pop figures around. I'm going to, I'm going to edit the desk a little bit. There we go. Um, and when this movie got announced, I was very skeptical because obviously I'm a gamer. Uh, I know video game movies don't tend to always be the perfect thing. I'm looking at you, Super Mario Brothers movie and Need for Speed. Those are the two that have let me down the most. Uh, Warcraft, I thought, was pretty good. It was one of the first real good gaming movies I've ever watched. Um, I still have yet to watch the Assassin's Creed movie with Michael Fassbender because I've heard a lot of mixed reviews and it scares me to think that it might not be good because it looks really good. I love Michael Fassbender. He's fantastic. Um, but Mortal Kombat was one I was really nervous about because Mortal Kombat is always a weird one to see done in a movie form. It's not super easy to bring into the big screen and the movies from the 90s can really show that uh mortal kombat the original one from the 90s was pretty good mortal kombat annihilation was dog shit that's my full opinion on those two movies mortal kombat one really good mortal kombat annihilation completely fucking terrible and i will always think that looking back on it but this movie holy i'm not gonna spoil it i'm not gonna go into spoiler territory maybe i'll do a review talking more about what i think about each part of the movie and maybe in like a week or two i'll watch the movie again because i mean it fucking deserves it it's a great movie um but for now i think i'm not gonna want i'm not gonna go into spoiler territory just in case you haven't gotten the chance to go to the theater and watch this movie or in case you don't have hbo max i won't spoil anything this will be a non-spoiler i'll even make sure i mark it in the title or in the name of the video i'll say no spoilers um but the movie was fantastic i absolutely loved it um, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it going into the movie because there's like, if you don't know a little bit, there's a little bit about the story that I'm going to say, but there's a character called Cole Young who is created specifically for the movie and he's a descendant of Hanzo Hasashi slash Scorpion. And it was, I'm like thinking like, how the fuck are they going to do this? And is it going to work? And oh my God. God, was I so not prepared for it to be as good as it was. I... I loved every second of it. As as somebody who's a massive nerd for everything Mortal Kombat, I loved every fucking minute, man. From start to finish, it was fantastic. Um, the references were great. There was a lot of cool Easter eggs. Um, again, I'm trying not to go into spoiler territory, so I don't really want to go into it. But if you love like Easter eggs to anything, like when some form of media is turned into a different form, like a movie into a video game or vice versa... Obviously, you always want to look for the Easter eggs. This movie's chock full of them. I lost it at every line that the fucking movie pulled in from the games. Um, to go into small spoiler territory, which this shouldn't be too bad um, to talk about. Uh, Get Over Here was mentioned. I'm not going to say when. 
I'm just gonna let, if you haven't seen the movie, I'm just gonna let you suffer through it until it finally says until Scorpion finally says get over here. Until get over here is finally uttered by anybody, I should say. Um Then there was uh well what else do we have we'd finish them your souls are mine which is not as good i, I will say the one issue i had with the movie was the casting of of shang Tsung. i'm not trying to be mean to the actor who played him because he did a great job i think he did a fantastic job it's just the original actor is so iconic as shang Tsung that there's nothing you can really do to change it like it's not like this guy saying your soul is mine is not going to sound as good as the guy from the 90s and the guy who now does it in Mortal Kombat 11. I have a hair in my mouth. I also have a smaller chair now, so like it's weird for me. I'm trying to get like used to where I should sit. Um but yeah, the one issue I really had was Shang Tsung's actor. I just felt like he didn't fit the role for me and it's not because again, it's not because of the fact of him not being the other guy. He I think he did a fantastic job. I think it's just down to the other actor playing who played him is so iconic it you just can't do anything better than what he did is is my basic way of saying this um what else uh finish i already mentioned finish them um flawless victory was mentioned and i'm not gonna spoil the scene in which is mentioned because holy fuck was it great um <clears throat> There's some references to other characters that I'm not going to spoil because, again, it'd go heavily into spoiler territory. Um, so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do two reviews of the movie. I'm going to have this one be a non-spoiler and I'm going to do a spoiler, kind of spoiler-filled re review of the movie as well um, and talk a little bit more about certain things. Um, but yeah, literally, if you're a Mortal Kombat nerd, I highly suggest go, to, go watch this movie. You're going to nerd out at every line, at every certain moment. You're going to see characters that you want to see on the big screen and that have never been shown in this series so far. Like, in movies of Mortal Kombat, there's a lot of characters that don't get touched on. A lot of those characters show up in this movie. I'm not going to say which characters. Again, this is a spoiler-free, as spoiler-free as I can get it, of a review of this movie. And I just... I, I loved it from start to finish. Every little thing about it just... It was insane. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. A lot of pop and energy drink earlier. Um, but yeah, everything about this movie is great. And if you guys don't know, the actor who played Sub-Zero in this movie has already signed on for four more if this, if this movie ends up being successful. Meaning we are probably going to get a lot of Mortal Kombat movies out of this, which if we do... I'm not going to fucking complain. As long as the same fucking director directs every subsequent movie and has the same fucking actors playing the same goddamn characters, I'm all for it because every single one of them nailed the role perfectly. I feel like that was the other big issue that the Mortal Kombat movies in the 90s always had is they just didn't have the right people for the roles. Also, CGI was a lot worse back then and Goro looked fucking terrible. <sighs> Good thing that he was only in the one movie then, but still. Um, but so many people were so fantastic in the roles and I think everybody was cast perfectly in this movie. I think Cole Young, the new introduced character was great. Um, I loved his story arc. I loved the entire story arc of the movie itself and I cannot wait to see where they go for a second movie. Um, it definitely leaves it open for it. Like the ending really left it open for a second movie and there was so much so much amazing shit in this movie i'm still trying not to go into spoiler territory because i want to go i want to do a separate review for that um this i probably will not be doing movie reviews by the way for you guys wondering i'm probably gonna do space like any movie reviews on here i'm only doing this one because i thought it'd be a really cool thing to talk about because it is gaming related and especially do a gaming series i absolutely fucking love um i i loved every last little bit of this movie and that's the best thing i can say is the director did fantastic. Everyone did fantastic in the roles. The story was great, and I cannot wait to see where else it goes going forward in this series. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you want to see a spoiler-filled review, I'm going to be doing a spoiler, more spoiler-filled review of the movie as well, which will probably go out sometime after this one does. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Stay golden. Peace.